if I'm going to take care of my baby well, I have to take care of myself well. Health and wellness used to be such a big part of my life. I loved working out. I loved focusing on cooking healthy meals, you know, having a lot of these habits throughout the day that just made me feel very well-rounded and healthy. And then I became a mom and I realized that things are just a lot different now. And a lot of those kind of habits that I had just were not sustainable to try to implement into my routine as a mom. That being said, I'm almost five months postpartum at this point, And I have just realized that if I'm going to take care of my baby well, I have to take care of myself well in terms of what I'm eating, in terms of trying to move my body a little bit, in terms of resting. And these things are still so important, but it is of course just different now. I do not have the time that I used to. And so I today wanted to share some of the habits that I'm trying to implement into my routine going forward as a mom to focus on these things, but in a way where it is doable. I don't want this video to be a bounce back video. That is not what it's about. I am very much not a believer that you can kind of get back to who you used to be just a month or two or a few weeks after having a baby. As a mom, life is just so much different now. I am totally a different person now. And I think that for some people it can take, you know, up to a year to start feeling like yourself again or not even feeling like your old self, but just feeling like a person again. I never wanna put any pressure out there to you know, get back in the gym, to start eating healthy, to do all these things. These are just small things that I'm trying to focus on to take better care of myself. One of the things I always try to do in the morning, if possible, is just wake up a little bit before my son does because having some time to drink my coffee in just silence and read my devotional, kind of put the house together, do anything I wanna do in the morning, it helps me have such a better day waking up before him and this was something that wasn't doable when he was really young because he never had a set time of oh he's going to wake up at 6 30. now for the past i would say couple of months that's pretty much been his time that he likes to wake up and so for the most part on the days that i do feel rested i will try to wake up around six read my bible drink my coffee, all that. But of course, rest is so important. And over the weekend, I most definitely woke up right when he woke up. And one of those days I also slept in while Eden had Connor. So I know every baby is different too with sleep. I will say that he wakes up a couple times at night. So I'm not like sleeping through the night or anything at this point. But even if it's just 10 minutes, waking up in the morning before him really sets up my day to be so much better. <laughs> not been eating healthy over the last five months or so. The last month we've kind of been getting more into it, but I am slowly trying to be more mindful about what I'm eating because I definitely feel better when I'm eating things that just really fill me up and have good nutrition. But of course it can be hard to find that time, especially if you have multiple kids. And so I'm all about trying to find kind of easy ways to simplify breakfast, lunch, dinner. And one of my favorite ways to do that in the morning is making overnight oats. I just kind of eyeball mine. I made these last night. I just did some oats milk, peanut butter, Greek yogurt, and chia seeds. I don't measure anything, but I've loved having these in the morning. There are so many fun recipes you can try. It takes, you know, five minutes to whip it up at night, and it's such a substantial breakfast. And so I've been loving those. And just having things like this in the fridge means I'm most likely going to have a better breakfast instead of skipping a breakfast or just grabbing something that is not gonna be super satiating and isn't going to give me the good nutrition that I need. Another habit that I've tried to have pretty much ever since I had Connor was spending as much time as possible outside. We are both so much happier when we are outside, especially Connor just loves watching all the trees, hearing the birds, watching Cash be crazy in the backyard. And so I'm so thankful right now to have some sort of outdoor space. But even if I didn't have this, I would be going on so many walks. We sit on the front porch and watch the cars go by, go to parks. I really just want him to live so much of his childhood outside. I think that that's just such a great place to be curious and explore. While it's good for him, it is also so good 
good for me to spend time outside getting vitamin D, fresh air, hearing the birds. I think especially if you are a kind of full-time stay-at-home parent, spending so much time outside and doing things with your baby, I find is so, so helpful. I think the first few months when I was struggling postpartum, it was a lot colder during that time because I had him in November. And just after spending so much time inside, I think that that was a big part why I struggled mentally a lot. We basically spend, I would say, three-fourths of our day outside. And that is something that I've never appreciated so much since becoming a mom. Even when he was a newborn, I would set him in his little baby Bjorn seat when he was big enough and just give myself five minutes to take a quick shower because I think it's so, so important, not necessarily to put on makeup every day. I'm just gonna put on a little bit of makeup, but to have that time to shave, scrub your body, wash. And I wanted to share some of my favorite products that I've been using. These are from Osea. I'm so thankful to be partnering with them on today's video, which is so fun because I've used their stuff for a while now. This is their Golden Glow Body Kit and this has been so so nice to use. I would say more so I use these in my evening routine if I take an evening shower because that one doesn't really have a time limit. Right now he naps for about 30 minutes in his crib so I don't have a ton of ton of time to do all the things but at night I definitely do. I do want to mention too that I have a code. You guys can use my code MRGLOW and that will get you 10% off their website, which is awesome. They have so many things on their website, but this Golden Glow Body Kit has been so much fun to use. This is their cleansing body polish. I have used so much of this. It is basically an exfoliant. It uses physical and AHA exfoliants to gently cleanse your skin, revitalize your skin. I like to use this, especially before I self tan, to exfoliate it. Just has a really, really light, clean scent. And then at night, I will usually follow up with their body oil, which just feels so luxurious. There's something about putting on a body oil, especially in the spring and summer, and just having like those smooth, kind of glossy legs. And it's actually seaweed infused body oil, which is so cool. It improves your skin elasticity and delivers deep moisturization. And it also comes with their body brush, which I love dry brushing with this. It's kind of like coffee for your body, especially in the morning doing this. It just wakes me up. Maybe if I had one of those nights the night before, this just always wakes me up. It makes me feel really good. I do want to say that Mother's Day is coming up and something like this would be such a great gift. Sometimes you don't want to splurge on these things for yourself, but for the mom in your life, I think that this would be so sweet to give her. And fun fact, Osea is actually a mother-daughter founded brand, which I just think is so, so special. I'll have this link down below. And again, you guys can use my code MRGLOW and that will get you 10% off. While I shared their body care kit, there's also one for your face too, if that's more your speed. I've been all about the body care though lately because I'm just not wearing a ton, a ton of makeup these days. One of the things that actually has been so nice about becoming a mom is I am on my phone so much less now. Whenever you have a baby, you just wanna be present with them, especially when going for walks or playing at home. And that's one of the things that I'm really thankful for during this season. That has been one of my favorite kind of healthy habits that I've had unintentionally. I've not really had to work on. Kids just have such an imagination. The way that they play with things and experience the world, it is so inspiring to me to kind of embrace that same childlike curiosity about the world and with that comes just spending less time on a virtual world and more time in our actual world and before i would always listen to a podcast and sometimes i will do that if i'm just having a day where i really want to listen to something but for the most part i'm pretty hands-free just walking a dog and having a baby in a carrier you kind of need to be present and focused although i was thinking about it and i will be filming clips on my phone so technically i'm on my phone but you guys know what I mean. Connor is 
is down for another nap right now. One of the things I try to find balance with within his naps are being productive, getting things done whenever he is sleeping, whether that be chores or just work that I need to do, but also trying to rest during those times. I wish I was better at taking quick power naps, but I have never been a great napper. I thought being a mom might change that, but I'm still not a great napper. And so even if I'm not taking a nap, I really do like to try in one of his naps to just do something for myself and just to rest. I find that I'm a much better mom when I do have time to myself, when I have time to recharge, even if that's just about 25 minutes, which I'm sure this nap is just gonna be about 25 minutes. When I am just going, going, going all the time, even if that's just doing things around the house, not actually physically going out or anything, I find I just have a shorter fuse. Things kind of bother me more throughout the day versus when I do take time to rest, pour myself a drink, and I'm trying to read more too. So I'm starting this book called Dog Days. My mother-in-law actually gave this to me a while ago. I've never read it. I'm also drinking AG1, which is a supplement. I'm sure you've heard of it. This isn't sponsored. I am working with them over on Instagram, but I've been drinking this for the past couple of months now because it's just an easy way to get in a lot of nutrients and those vitamins and minerals. And although it's not very cute, I will say I mix mine up with coconut water and it's really refreshing. It's just the amount of kind of fruitiness that I like. And so A bit later hopped in the car because we are having a little outing me and connor i'm actually gonna head to half price books i really like the one here in dallas it's such a giant half price books they have so many books and aiden's birthday is actually coming up i'm trying to put together a gift for him and he's really in a book so i'm gonna try to see what they have there but that is something ever since connor was about two months old i've talked about this before but we get out of the house at least once a day, even if that's just to the grocery store or picking up a coffee. It is so good for both of us to get out. He loves it, I love it, and if I stay home all day, I will lose my mind. <laughs> so I think especially just for my mental health too, not staying home all day has been so, so helpful. So this is kind of an odd time, it's three o'clock. I usually do this more towards noon, but I don't wanna be out while the eclipse is happening, but we're gonna make it happen now. share what we ended up picking up at the bookstore. They have the cutest tote bag and I use these all the time. So I just went ahead and grabbed this $20. I thought that this was a $5 tote. I was wondering when I checked out why it was so expensive. Okay, it was definitely not worth that, but we picked up the little engine that could. That is for Connor's collection. And then I also got a few other books for, for his birthday, so. And then we also stopped at Target because Connor fell asleep and I was trying to keep him asleep. I grabbed a couple of these tops for working out. How pretty is this yellow color? I have the Align tops from Lululemon. They're very similar to this. Also got this pretty taupe one. And then of course we had to stop in the baby section and they had such cute baby clothes right now. This little palm tree set, absolutely adorable. And then these onesies from Cat and Jack are so soft and he really needs more PJs and so I grabbed a couple of these. I also just love these colors. So, so pretty. This little romper, so cute and soft too. Very lightweight for when it gets warmer here. And then lastly, I just got a PJ set for myself. This little gray PJ set that was also super, super soft. And I'm a sucker for a Target PJ set. I'm about to put this guy down for the night and then I am gonna do a Peloton ride. I'm trying to get back into working out again. And while I would love to be back at the gym every day, that is just not realistic. I am trying to go a few days a week. I think that I kept putting off working out for so long because I always thought that I had to have 45 minutes or an hour to do a workout. And I just don't really have that time right now. And so, excuse you. 
I'm just trying to fit it in where I can. And tonight I have about 30 minutes. Aiden's gonna put dinner on for us and I'm gonna do that after I put him down. I'm not a huge spin fan, but I'm trying to get into it because I love the idea of just doing a 30 minute ride while he takes a nap. Sometimes I don't really have the energy at the end of the day because I do go to sleep pretty early these days. But tonight I'm feeling it and I'm also feeling this little workout top that I got. It's so cute, this yellow color. I'm a big fan. No, it's oh, that's right. Here, I think I'm just an idiot. <laughs> no, you're stupid. You gotta put it on your profile. Do you think I'm too high? I kind of feel high. You're supposed to feel high. Okay. You want the full extension of your legs. Okay. Can I do the Olivia Rodrigo? Who's she? A 30 minute feel good ride. Yeah. She looks I'm gonna go shower. Happy. You good? Yeah. Good job. Do you want a water bottle or something? Yeah, okay. You're just gonna have to come get me out. It's easy. You I'll just, you okay. Drop your shoulders even more, your elbows, your back, your concerns. We are having salmon for dinner and one thing that makes it really easy is just getting a pack of frozen fillets. This is from Whole Foods. So you just dethaw them and then marinate them. And then we also like to get just a pack of frozen potatoes, some kind of frozen potato mix. And that makes it really easy just putting it in the air fryer and then just toss with a salad. So super easy, but definitely a healthier dinner. It is actually the next morning. I never gave you guys an update after I did my spin class, but it was so much fun. I really enjoyed it more than I remembered enjoying those in the past. It was so much fun. I forgot who the instructor was, but it was one of the feel good classes and it had a lot of Hamilton music, which fun fact, back when I lived in New York City, I would always run to Hamilton music. It's the best workout music. It's so motivating and, but I really enjoyed it. I definitely think I'm gonna keep doing that. I would like to get in more of a routine of going to the gym where I can, but it is nice having options to do from home because of course it's just so much more practical right now. Also, I was so tired last night, but one of the things I've really been enjoying lately is cute little PJ sets. I got this one from Amazon. It has little cherries on it. I think it's so, so fun. It has shorts, but there's also a pants option too. That's really cute. And that's just one of the little things that totally has been elevating my little routines lately. And yeah, today we're just having a chill day of getting things done around the house and getting some work done. But I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I really hope it gave you some kind of inspiration for incorporating healthy habits where you can, whether you're a mom or you just have a busy lifestyle. Yeah, I know that it can be difficult, but it does feel good to start kind of getting back to these things that I used to really incorporate and that made me feel really great. So um, <laughs> thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you all are doing well and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye -bye.